Index laws with numbers, looking at laws 1 and 2. We have to start by looking at what the different parts of a power are. This whole thing is a power. This means 2 times 2 times 2. So the 3, the number of times that we are multiplying 2 by itself, is the index, or it can be called the exponent. And the 2, the number that's getting multiplied by itself, is the base, or the base number. As you know, this is expanded form. This is index form when we write as a power, and this is the evaluated form, the answer. So the index laws are about finding shortcuts for when we're dealing with powers. Law 1 is about multiplying powers of the same base. So for example, 2 cubed times 2 squared, the base number here is 2. There's a shortcut, and we can find the shortcut by writing this out in expanded form and seeing what we get. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2 times, I want 2 squared, which is 2 times 2. I got 2 to the power 5. If you checked it with a couple of others, we'd get the same pattern happening, that when I'm multiplying powers of the same base, there's a shortcut. Instead of writing it out expanded form, I can just add the indices. So, when I'm multiplying powers of the same base, Index Law 1, the shortcut is add the indices. So when I was asked to simplify these, leaving the answers in index form, two, sorry, 4 squared times 4 cubed is 4, and the power gets added, and that's 4 to the power 5. If I got stuck, though, I could have expanded that all out to work this out. So there's the way of working it out when you expand it, or there's the shortcut, which is the index laws. Now this is 5 times 5 squared. Now this seems tricky because there's no power. But any time there's no power, it's just a 1, because this is 1, you know, 5 just on its own, 1 lot of 5. So this is 5 to the power 3. And here's a tricky one. There's another power of 1 there. Don't miss that out. 2 cubed times 2 squared times 2 to the power 1. Add all of those. I've got 2 to the power 6. This only works when it's the same base number, not when it's different base number. So that's index law 1. Index law 2 is dividing powers of the same base. Sorry, let's just get that lined up there. So for example, 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 to the power 2. And in the same way, let's expand that to see what happens. So you could always solve all of these questions by expanding. It just takes too long, so we might as well have a shortcut. We know when we're multiplying the same thing on the top and bottom of a fraction that I'm allowed to cancel any that are the same. And that leaves me with 2 to the power 3. And look at the shortcut. If I'm dividing powers of the same base, the shortcut is that I can just subtract the indices. So our rule here, when dividing powers of the same base, our shortcut is subtract the indices. So for example, simplify these. 7 to the power 12 divided by 7 to the power 5 is 7 to the power 12 take away 5 is 7. 12 to the power 5 divided by 12 remember that's a 1 so this is 12 to the power of 5 minus 1 is 4. They've given me this one as a division, sorry, as a fraction, but this still means divide. 10 to the power 10 divided by 10 to the power 2 
10 to the power of 10 minus 2 is 8. So it only works when it's the same number at the base and it's just a shortcut to stop us having to work it all out with expanded form.